Whoa. Whoa. Careful, Odie. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome Muffin, Odie, and Dante. Oh, the whole pack is here. It is P.O. Box opening day and for P.O. Box opening day, I like to include Muffer babies. Muffin just ran away. Well, at least I got Dante and Odie here and they might be staying here because I have treats in my pocket. <laughs> You're not supposed to be right in the way. And turn your butt around. There you go. Bow. <laughs> yes. Odie. High five. He is very good doggo. Shake. Shake. Yo, <laughs> both shake. Okay, you get one too, Donto. Dante, Dante, going through my pocket. How dare you? How dare you steal treats, Dante? So hopefully in today's video, we can do all the packages and envelopes in one video. If not, we'll have to make it two videos, but we'll see how do, how do, do. We'll see how good we do and how efficient we are. Voice things, voice. We actually have two pals here from two different people. And the first person we're gonna do, the first pile is gonna be from Barry from Fort Myers, Florida. Can you test these for drugs, please? Can you sniff? Sniff, sniff, make sure these are all right. Make sure these are all right, good. We still don't know what the action is for alert uh, when they alert to a drug, but we just, we just go as we go. We just do what we do here. Where are you going, Odie? Where are you going? We have lost Muffin and we have lost Odie, but good old Dante is still around because he's such a good P.O. Box boy. Or he's just very food driven and he thinks there's treats here. Oh, Barry, you sweetheart. Look, we have a whole bunch of cards and letters from Barry. We have Happy St. Patrick's Day. Laura, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink too much beer. Let me be a woman. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Here is a shirt from a movie that you love. Enjoy. The never ending story. I, I have to put this on because I love that so much. Never ending story. Uh, 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 uh. Do we have a happy Easter card just in time for Easter? And look at this. Oh, this must have gotten lost in the mail. But look, it's from Halloween. It is so cute, look at all the doggos on it. And we have this Paris postcard, it says, Laura, happy new year. I hope 2022 brings the end of COVID. Me too, me too, I really hope it ends soon. Walt Disney World pamphlet, Walt Disney World 50, 50, celebrating 50 years. And then we have a Star Trek themed card. I believe this is a character from one of those new Star Treks. Um, well, not new, but you know, new is in not the original series. I feel a deep, he's sweet. Here is a Star Trek themed shirt for you. I think the woman on the shirt looks like you. Enjoy, Barry. Let's see what the person on the shirt looks like. Is it a troll or a gremlin? Oh wow, she's really pretty. I wish this looked like me. This does not look like me. This looks like Ariana Grande or something. Thank you so much, Barry, for all your cards, letters, envelopes, postcards, and t-shirts. You're always so incredibly kind. So thank you so much for sending those our way. Say thank you, Dante. Thank you. That's how Dante says thank you, flaps his ears. Thank you. So next up we have a bunch of letters from Horatio Jr. from Dalton, Georgia. So I'm gonna open all these up in one go and we'll see what's in here. Oh, sniff. Sniff, are you asleep? Oh, my dry sniffer dog is asleep. So from Horatio Jr. we have this lovely St. Patrick's Day card. Look at that, two Laura Legends Love Jr. And I love the little doggo on it. And then he also sent us over a few trading card packs. We have a whole bunch of Lion King. We got Lion King for days here, Lion King for days. And we also have, ooh, we have Batman, the original. We have the second series. Can feel that nice waxy package with a little bit of bubble gum in there. We have Batman Returns and we also have Batman Forever. So so thank you so much, Horatio Jr., for sending over these lovely trading cards and your card. It was so cute. Next up, I'm just gonna reach behind me and grab this guy. This is from, it's from Amazon. So hopefully there is some information. Oh no, there is no name on this, but thank you so much to whoever sent this. How cool is this? Look, Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. That is gonna be fun to read. Looks really interesting and the art in here is absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if it's gonna be like all kind of dark humor, you know, and, and a lot of the Archie crossovers that he does. So really, really looking forward to reading this. I like how Harley has like three, like a bunch of straws in her mouth and then Ivy's all sexy. This is again from Amazon, all the way from the Amazonian rainforest. Oh my gosh, how do they pump out so much product? And what is the, oh, it's 
Yakko! Oh my gosh, it goes with my Wacko and my Dot. So now I got Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Thank you so much. I remember you emailed me, you messaged me, and you said, I think, that you were sending this guy over. So thank you very, very much. But you know who you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> shit down, shit down. Shit down, Donto boy. This, this is from William, all the way from Montmorency, South Carolina. Hello again, William. Oh, it's a golden. Oh, it's so cute. Love, 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 and more love. The love we share with others is such an important part of what makes life worth living. Spend this day with friends and family and loved ones, receiving love and giving. Sincerely, William. Oh, thank you so much, William. That is so cute. I love, love, love these golden retriever and dog cards. They're like my favorite. I have like a little display of all like the fun cards and everything. So this is definitely going to the pile. So this next envelope is from Jamie all the way from, oh, you're from Manitoba. You're from Manitoba, Canada. Hello, fellow Canadian. Um, it's from Port Portage, Portage, La Prairie. I'm so sorry I'm Canadian and I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. That is so adorable. You have no power over me. You know what, Goblin King? You can have all the power you want over me with that ass. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. That is so awesome, Jamie. Thank you so much for this little labyrinth book. I love it. Man, there's like, there's no Labyrinth merchandise out there. There's like barely any Legend merchandise out there. So thank you very, very much for this. I, I love this necklace. This next letter is from Ryan, all the way from Kingman, Arizona. What a cool name, Kingman. Dear Laura, I have enjoyed watching your awesome videos on YouTube. And I gotta say, I'm sorry, my accent keeps going. I don't know what I'm doing. Your collection is very impressive. I have followed your channel for a few years now and I enjoy watching your collection tour videos and DIY movie products. I was curious, curious, I was curious or wondering if you did trades by any chance. I was asking because I had noticed in your one video that you had an extra box of Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus Jawbreakers. If you would be interested in doing an even trade, I can make a custom dinosaur repaint for you to add to your collection. You can DM me over on my Instagram page at Jurassic underscore Ryan if you have a repaint request or if this letter finds you. Thank you for being such a rad collector. Sincerely, Ryan. P.S. Your cat and dogs are so cute and fluffy. Ah, yes. Very good Ryan, very good indeed. Um, yes, I do do. <laughs> I do do. I do do trades. Um, I usually with my brother, I do my trades um, and some other kind of uh, uh, collector acquaintances and such. Um, I would totally 100% trade you a uh, drawbreaker, drawbreaker if I had three of them. The reason being I need two of them because um, they have really cool art on both sides of them. So on one side is the Jurassic Park Jawbreaker art displayed and then on the other side it's the Dilophosaurus art. So I kind of have to have two but if I have a third one and if I find a third one I will 100% contact you because um, I need the two, but I don't need three. But thank you very much for your letter, Ryan, and I will follow you on Instagram and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of repaints you do and if you post any of your prop making on there, it'd be cool to see what you got. Let me actually make sure that my camera's on. Yep, it's on and it's focused on me. This is from Jay Quinzel, all the way from Downey, California, California. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love this. Look, it says, Laura wants us to make a what? <laughs> so it's like the T-Rex and the unicorn that come together to be my logo. Dear Laura Legends, first and foremost, thank you for the content you produce. Um, it's always a pleasure to watch one of your videos as they seem to be made with passion, respect, and humility. Oh, thank you. Watching channels like yours, those dealing with collecting, inspired me to create my own videos. I just started not too long ago in making unboxing and order opening videos. I'm a Jurassic Park fan too. I'm oops. Obsessed. I've written fan fiction for Jurassic under the title Jurassic Legacy. That's really cool. Hey, Donto! Donto took the Yakko! Stop it, Dante. Keep up the quality and keep collecting. Say hi to your dog goes for me. Say hi, yo, big stinky big butt. Sincerely, Jay Quinzel. P.S. I love how your signature stay legendary catchphrase and gesture uh, resembles Brooklyn's from Camp Cretaceous. I wonder if it's inspired by yours. P.P.S. My YouTube is by Jay Quinzel. Ah, definitely gonna have to follow you, Jay Quinzel, and see what you got on there. Thank you very, very much, Jay Quinzel, and I will definitely be following you on YouTube. This is from Mystery Person, from Mystery Person, from New Maryland, from New Brunswick, a fellow Canadian. We got some alien figures. Oh, sweet. 
who says, hi, Laura, hope all is well with you. Well, I was looking around a shop and I saw these two on the wall and I remembered I had sent you the Ripley figurine. Oh yes, yes, yes. I have my Ripley figure right there with all my alien and predator stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, well, she cannot be lonely. Here you go. Two more of the alien fungo super seven set from 2013. Give Odie, Dante and Muffin belly rubs for me. Sorry, no treats this time, Dan. Oh, thank you so much. Here's some belly rubs for you from Dan. Thank you so incredibly much, Dan, for these. We got Ash, and I think this guy comes with a motion detector, and we also have Dallas with flamethrower. Oh, how sweet is that? Very excited to add these to the alien slash predator collection, and my Ripley won't be so lonely anymore. Anymore. What did I just turn Irish for a second? My Ripley won't be so lonely anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending these over, Dan. I will put these in my alien slash predator cabinet right away. And you know what? I'm gonna give Dante those extra belly rubs that Muffin and Odie missed out on because they left and Dante stayed. Next up, next up, up is from, again, Amazon. Oh my gosh, the Amazon is pumping out so many things. Hopefully we'll find a name on here. Hey, don't you touch Yakko. Yakko is a good boy. Sweet, hey, don't boop it to death. Don't boop it to death. Oh, this is so snuggly cuddly. It is a pillow pet. Four legs and it looks like a little dinosaur. And then when you take it off like this, it's a pillow. No, hey, hey, Dante, this is my pillow. Oh, this is so cute and cozy. Thank you so incredibly much to whoever sent this pillow pet over. It is so soft and so plushy. And I'm definitely gonna put it in my bedroom. And I know that Dante and Odie are probably gonna have a field day trying to pry it away from me every night. So thank you very, very much. You know who you are. Thank you so incredibly much. Danto, stop it, stop it. Danto's like, this is what I'm gonna do to your pillow pet when I get it. So this is from Harbinger of the Abyss uh, from Providence R.I. from the US. What's R.I.? Rhode Island? Rhode Island is the smallest state in the Union and is one of the most densely populated and heavily industrialized for its size. Ah, oh, I didn't know. I thought Rhode Island was a uh, city. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Oh, this is cool. Middle Eastern Institute for Ant Antiquities. Item was discovered near Gobekli Tepe and site is located near the city of San Liurda in southwestern Anat Anatolia, Turkey. The item is unusual in that it has marking commonly associated with a 13th century numbering system used by monks modern day Hindu or Arabic numbering system and Latin inscription. The piece has been dismissed as a hoax by most credible archeologists. Other notable elements are the unknown origin of the alloy. Carbon dating has been unsuccessful. What? What is going on here? Your name was kind of scary sounding and very mysterious. This is a very mysterious package. I really hope this isn't one of those like cursed things that like when you look at it, then like have bad luck forever or something or who knows, maybe it'll cure my migraines. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if this is like a fun company that makes these cool kind of like, you know, mock antiquities and kind of like uh, treasures and stuff. But this is really cool. It reminds me of like that Cthulhu thing here. Um, It has like this fun, um, kind of number system and Roman numeral thing here or something. Love this. Definitely gonna go in kind of like my treasury, treasury shelf. Thank you very much, Harbinger of the Abyss. That is so cool. I love how this like little part twirls here and it feels like it's kind of like a decoder or something. So thank you very much for not sending me a cursed item. I think. Where did you go? Come sit with me. Come sit with mama. Come on. Come on, sit down. So this is from Namita from San Jose, California. Please stop eating my pillow. That's really rude. California. Do, 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 do. So we have some lovely pictures. Oh, look at the little pug. Oh, so cute. What an absolute cutie. So I think I think this is from Nam Namita, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, good. I think there's a card here. I'm gonna get this off without ruining the baggage. Package. There we go. Ah, there is a pen in here as well as some money. So maybe you want me to sign this? Oh, your name is not Namita. Okay, I guess I must've been like something else. <laughs> Sorry. It says, Dear Laura, my, my name is Edward and I live in San Jose, California. Do, 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 do. And I'm a huge fan of yours. I've been a fan for a couple of years now and I started collecting baseball cards, but since COVID hit the, the cards got very, um, got really expensive. I now collect toys like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers and autographed memorabilia. I see the Lore Legends hoodie. Oh my gosh. How did I miss that? I was just like, oh, hello. Here are 
are pictures of me with Laura Legends hoodie at Universal Studios Hollywood in front of Transformers house, um, the Sam Whitaky house, and a picture of my three-year-old Frank. Oh, so cute. Frank is adorable. He is a pug and likes to play and go for walks. I wanted to know if you can autograph the front windshield in silver Sharpie. I've sent you $40 cash since it's my first time doing this for return postage. Do you know of another silver that would work better on front plastic windshield? From Edward. Thank you so much, Edward. That was such a nice heartwarming letter. And thank you very, very much for your pictures. I love the one of you in the Lore Legends hoodie and the one of your little Frank, little Frank and beans. That's adorable. And I will totally write on this windshield for you and send it back to you ASAP. I, I don't know why you'd want my autograph, but if you want me to, I'll do it. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ed, sending you a big legendary kiss. Mwah! Thank you so much for all your support. So I think this is from Rafaela. What a cool name, Rafaela. Um, from Frisco, Texas, from the US. What you smell, Donto? What you smell? Is this an alert, Donto? Is this an emergency alert? Whoa! Oh my gosh, no wonder your nose is all up in here. Look at all these amazing treats. Oh, look for doggos. There's treats for doggos. Howdy from Texas. My wife and I have been watching you for about four years now and have loved watching you grow your channel. Oh, thank you guys so much. We love watching your episodes where you focus on a single franchise because we learn so much about something that we may not have really considered in the past. For example, your Willow episode got me in, got me to introduce her to the movie for the first time. And your Skeleton video got us both into the future lore of He-Man. I am a huge fan of Dino Riders, so naturally I love Dino Strike. If you haven't seen these in Canada, they're amazing. Probably the closest we'll ever get to Dino Riders again. The Jurassic Park 2001 Tiger Electronics T-Rex head game. I saw that in there, I was like, oh, I don't have that one, so I was so excited to see that. Unfortunately, the mouth gimmick is busted, so when you die in the game, the T-Rex head won't bite down on you. But either way, it makes a great display piece. Dinotopian Street Shark cards. Oh, sweet! Um, the Jurassic Park 3 Dinopedia, which I don't think works, but it makes a great display or cosplay piece. Um, we also included some treats for Muffin, Odie, and Dante. Hopefully, they'll enjoy them. Thank you again for the wonderful content. More videos with Muffin, please. From Jesse and Rafaela. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so, so much for thinking of me and being such amazing subscribers and fans of the channel. Thank you guys so much. Soup bones? Tasty, long-lasting chews for dogs? Um, these look so good. I want to chew these. I want to chew on those. We got some greenies dental treats and we got some Nutra Chomps. Ooh, see, you know it was worth staying, right? Mmm, the chewy, chewy stick. Is that fun to chew on? Oh, that looks good. Oh, I want some too. Feline Greenies Dental Treats. I've never seen these for cats here. Dino Strike. That's what they're called. Dino Strike. Look at these. Oh, look, we got like kind of a little Stiggy. Maybe this is a Velociraptor. Ankylosaurus. Stegosaurus. Ooh, a Dilophosaurus. That one looks really cool. Triceratops and another Triceratops. Ooh, I like the orange and the blue stripes on this one. That one's neat. These definitely remind me of Dino Riders toys. I haven't seen these um, in my toy stores, I don't think. But perhaps they're kind of maybe exclusive to the US or maybe in Target or something. But thank you for so much for sending these. These look absolutely awesome. I'm really excited to set these up and put them on the shelf because they're probably gonna look fantastic. Dino Balls. 13 dinos to build and battle. Dino Strike, hunt, trap, and battle. Surprise dinos. 13 new glow in the dark dinosaurs. 10 to collect. I love these Dinotopia cards. The art on here is just fantastic. And I love how there's like writing on the back too. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I know that Dinotopia, uh, they had like a TV series movie where it was like a few parts. So that's the only Dinotopia I have ever seen. I don't know if there is another movie or a series or something, but it'd be really cool if they like remade Dinotopia into like a Dinotopia movie. I think that'd be pretty cool to bring it to like the new age. And we got Street Shark cards for days. Look at that. We have um, Big Slamu here on the front. I know that all of the card packs have like a different name on them. So we got these guys. And then of course we have these two Jurassics. These two Jurassics. We have this Dino Dex right here from Jurassic Park 3. I always have a hard time opening this. I always like forget how to open it. And then I'm like, oh, right, I open it like that. How do I, oh, okay. Oh, right, I'm supposed to press this little button here. So it closes like that and you press this little button. And then we have this amazing piece right here. Oh my gosh, look how cool this looks. Like, look at the sculpt and look at the paintwork on it. I actually don't have this guy in my collection and I love all the Tiger Electronic and like handheld Jurassic Park 
um, games and such. So thank you so much for adding this to the collection. I will treasure this guy. Thank you so much, Jesse and Raphaela, for the amazing, amazing goodies and that super nice letter that was so thoughtful and was very nice of you to send it over. And just all these goodies are just so amazing. I mean, I can't get over this amazing Tiger Electronics handheld game. I love it so much. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's completely not working or anything. It makes an amazing display piece. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so sweet. Next up, we have a package. Ooh, contains chocolates. Store in a cool and dry place. It's from Hafizul. Hafizul, you sent something the last time. I, I told you you sent like a wizard name. So you were all the way from Singapore. It's those Milo Milo things. Oh, thank you. I needed this right now. Whoa, if I like these, I'm probably gonna love this. Snack bars, if I like this, me again, I like this. McDonald's curry sauce and McDonald's garlic chili sauce. So you guys all know I'm like a McDonald's junkie. Like I love McDonald's. McDonald's my favorite, like I love McDonald's. When you go to different locations like around the world, like what am I saying? I've only been to like Hawaii and like parts of the US. But, but like when you go there at the McDonald's, you can always like, it's like, oh, look at all the different sauces they have and all the different condiments. And like, it's so fun to like check out the McDonald's around the world. I remember I went to the US and I was like, oh, do you guys, ha uh, can I also get like a packet of McChicken sauce? And they're like, what? Wh what's McChicken sauce? I'm like, you know, McChicken sauce, like the packets of McChicken sauce. They're like, what are you talking about? Are these fanny packs? Please tell me these are fanny packs. I wear fanny packs all the time when I'm hiking and like biking and out with the boys on adventures. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love this. This is amazing. Look at this fanny pack. That is, it's so tasty looking. Oh, I want McDonald's right now. Look how burgers and fries. It looks like a burger with like little sesame seeds on it. Oh, I love these so much. I will definitely use these. Never heard of jackfruit in my life, but we're probably gonna have to try those. That's not bad. Tastes like a little mango-ish, a little pumpkin-ish. Now this is what worries me the most because these things don't look that friendly to me. It's like these hard candies and they have like a hard little bit in them. It almost looks like an asteroid. Oh, it's plum candy. Okay. Oh, that thing there in the middle is like salty and licorice-y. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This is so neat. So it's like three different flavors of popcorn, kind of like inspired by um, the Pokemon. So this is for um, Charmander, it's called Chili Crab. Then we got a Squirtle Chocolate, and we have a Kaya or Kaya Butter Toast for Bulbasaur. Is this my Pokemon? No, your Pokemon! Mewtwo's the best! Well, I do like crab, so maybe I'll like Chili Crab. that crab very odd combination and my mind can't really comprehend that so let's bring it back to some chocolate let's cleanse the palate with some chocolate god i love these packages they're so fun mm. Mm, yeah mm, yeah that's a good palate cleanser and this one's interesting kaya or kaya butter toast i don't know what that kaya or kaya is but if it tastes like like toast and butter, then you got me. Mmm, that's very interesting and unique. Thank you so much again, Hafizul, for this box of sheer awesomeness. This was such a fun box. I absolutely love trying all the goodies there. The Pokemon things were so cool. Oh, and I love those McDonald's. I absolutely love these McDonald's um, little pouches. They're so cute. I'm gonna wear them the next time I'm out with Dante and Odie going for a hike or a run. I think that'd be really cute. I'm sending you lots of chili crab kisses all the way from Canada to Singapore. Mwah! Okay, so that's where we're gonna end today's PO Box opening video. We're gonna cut this ditty right in half. Today's part one and the next video will be part two. So please be on the lookout for that video. It'll be coming out very soon. And we'll see you guys all in the next one. But until then, remember to stay legendary. Pew, pew.